Facebook. It's mocap time. So I'm gonna record two takes and we're gonna try to take this mocap data and bring it back into Unreal Engine and then use it for CineTracer. Hello and welcome to this virtual production vlog. I thought of that name after I recorded the first one. I think it's pretty good. Anyway, in the last episode, we got the Rococo motion capture suit unboxed. Huge accomplishment. But in this video, we're going to put the suit on. We're gonna record some motion capture animation. Then we're gonna bring that motion capture data into Unreal Engine. So let's go check out the suit real quick. I'll show you how you set it up and then just start this and see how this goes. Okay, so here we are at the Rococo suit rack. I got this rack off of Amazon and it like rolls around. So uh, anyway, something that I didn't mention about the suit last time is that in the back here, this is where the head sensor is. So this is like a headband, I'm gonna put it on. And this is also where the power is too. And really important, all the power in this suit, all the smarts are in the butt. They're in this butt packet here. Uh, but anyway, this is like the brains. This is like the Wi-Fi router as well, a receiver. Uh, this is a USB-C port, so you basically take USB-C into your computer, that's how you would connect it. And then once you connect it, you set it up for Wi-Fi, uh, you basically log it in, and then you don't have to do that again, and it's completely wireless. But I just wanted to show, uh, this is an important part of the suit, it's in the back. It's mocap time. Okay, so now I'm in the suit, and I'm also... Now streaming to Rococo Studio over there. So overall, it gets like body poses correct and it's getting this like kind of natural movement that I'm looking for because I cannot for my life animate anything natural like this. So I'm gonna record two takes and we're gonna try to take this mocap data and bring it back into Unreal Engine and then use it for CineTracer action. I don't think I fully understand it, but no. That's not gonna work today. I'm gonna end this pose like this. And here is our second take. I'm gonna bring this chair over and I'm gonna do a sitting version of it. And action. Okay. Mm-hmm. I see. I don't know. I've got my hand up in the air now. Now both hands are in the air. I'm going like this. And I'm gonna end it like that. Hmm. So that basically wraps up the whole motion capture part. It's really easy with this suit. You plug it in. This is my battery brick. It's gigantic. I need to get a smaller one. Then you plug in the suit directly to the computer and you log it into the Wi-Fi like it's an iPad. And then the suit just shows up. It just shows up on the screen over there. And you hit record. You do your motions. You know, it's going to take some time to figure out like what motions work best and you know, how do you clean it up and stuff like that. But that's it. So I'm at my computer now and I'm in Rococo Studio and we basically have the different takes that we shot here. It's just like footage and like Final Cut or Premiere. We're going to choose FBX, just body, um, FBX 2016 binary, and I'm going to profile for the Mixamo skeleton. They actually don't have a UE4 preset. Uh, I've been talking with them a little bit about that, but I think I figured out a workflow. And then you basically hit export. You get an FBX that has mocap data that can be imported into basically any 3D program, but for us, we're gonna be bringing it into Unreal Engine. Okay, so now I'm in Unreal Engine and I'm gonna show you my workflow of getting this mocap data onto that skeleton, that mannequin right there. It's kind of an involved process. So to start, I'm going to import a Mixamo character. That's gonna be this guy right here. So I used Adobe Fuse to make this character. Really easy, uh, it's part of Creative Cloud if you have it. This is currently the only workflow I know that works. I'll be continuing to do more and more. So what we have to do now is I'm gonna go to this Rococo folder and I'm going to import that Rococo data that we just did. I uh, put that in here, is this it? Nope, export, there it is, okay. So we'll bring in take one here and we're gonna put that onto my, uh, basically the Mixamo skeleton and hit import. And this is a good sign because it didn't say cannot import to skeleton. So it's basically taking that um, Rococo mocap data and it's applying it now to that skeleton. So it looks like it's worked out pretty well. We can open it up and look at it. Uh, kind of fly in here. I can make this a little bigger. Uh, we do have the shoulder thing, uh, which I can fix that later. So I'm going to start from about here. Okay. And I'm going to remove that frame. 
slide forward, blah, 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 talking, talking. Oh, yeah, that was it. So my hand's going to end here. So it's like almost like a loop. And I'm just chopping off the front and the back like this. So we have this tick. Uh, then I'm going to go to my Mixamo uh, skeleton here. And I'm going to right click and do retarget Mixamo skeleton asset. You need a plugin to do this. I can link it below. You want this plugin. It's worth its weight in gold. So hopefully it just retargeted it. Let's see here. Uh, one way to check is retarget base pose pretty good we can come and tweak this base pose a little bit more to fix the shoulders but i'm just going to leave it and we're going to retarget both of them to the ue4 mannequin it's very technical a lot of steps so the test of this is just bringing them out uh, i do have this kind of like floor registration thing that i'm still working through his feet are just like a little bit below the ground so not perfect here we are there is our mannequin right so this is the unreal engine mannequin skeleton and we have our two different animations. We have this talking one standing, kind of looping there. And we have our silly one. So pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, the hands, again, are just like permanently like this. You'd have to... I could change that in Unreal Engine. I could change that in iClone. There's other places. But for a lot of cases, just kind of like a neutral hand pose, that'll probably be okay. Um, definitely would be okay for Cinetracer. Uh, the feet through the ground is something I still have to work through. But... With this FBX now, what I just created, those animations, I can bring those into Cinetracer, which is what I'll probably go do just to really test it. And I could just put them on the marketplace or distribute them and anyone using an Unreal Engine mannequin, which is a lot of people, could use these animations. So, so now we are in Cinetracer, which is, you know, an Unreal Engine project, but I just added those animations to our library here. And you can see that our two characters are playing them, right? That's... Me talking, standing, and me talking, sitting. It's uh, pretty funny. And the way that it works currently, this might change, is that we just have a bunch of mocap animations here. So we could also have him, like, hitting <laughs> Oh, God, this is not what I didn't want that at all. But we can do the Rococo animation I just made. I just added it to the database here. Or we can have him do the sitting one, right? And so these characters need a little bit of work, etc. But this is how we go from... Rococo, mocap animation, all the way to Cinetracer. So for Cinetracer users, we're going to have a lot of mocap animation. It really just comes down to me putting on the suit and doing it. So whatever animations you want, I mean, let me know. I got to keep working this workflow so that I can get them back on their origin, etc. But also let me hop into this little camera that I set up here. And that is our scene. Pretty good, right? This is the waiting room set I did for my, my lighting video. These assets will be coming out soon, This these walls and stuff. All right, so we'll do a little dolly in. Actually, I think the focus is a little off. Yeah, let me fix the focus here. Um, switch it to you, and then the background, right? So we'll go in for like our kind of... Uh, I know his arm's ripping, his back's ripping through. I got to work on that. But here's our kind of like profile-y medium shot, right? Right, we're ray tracing like six lights, so it's a little slow. We'll come over here, another shot, pretty good. Look at this excellent scene, amazing mocap animation here. Uh, and then we can dolly back to this two shot here. I'm like stressed out watching these people fight right now. I don't know why I made fighting animations. <laughs> but there it is, uh, Rococo mocap in Unreal Engine, in Cinetracer. Pretty awesome, really easy workflow. Hopefully I showed, you know, basically how it works. Uh, there's some nuances that I need to kind of clean up and get my workflow just a little bit nicer. But these are pretty much shippable mocap animations for the quality that I need. I'm not saying this is like feature film, right, at this point. But for previs and for Cinetracer and virtual production, I think for a lot of people, we are pretty good here. So that pretty much wraps up this virtual production vlog. Uh, and also like a Cinetracer update vlog. So now we can have awesome mocap data into this. There is one more aspect that is maybe possible is that we could hook up the Rococo suit live into Cinetracer so that you could live puppet them. I can't promise that. I might try it, but we'll see. But the next video, we're probably going to either do some like iClone version of this, like stream it into iClone, add the face, add some hands or do some live streaming directly into Unreal Engine and maybe directly into Cinetracer. We'll find out. So I'll see you guys on the next uh, virtual production vlog. Thanks for watching.